What's going on YouTube? This is Off-Road Out Outlaws. So what I'm basically going to be doing is I'm going to be building a truck. So you have some basics. You have like a Ford type Ranchero type deal or what you want to call it, like a 98, 99 Ford. You got a Chevy with big tires, like mudding tires. This game is all about um, uh, off-roading. So this is like an old school Chevy. Ooh, nice upgrades too already come stock from the, the factory it's probably got about a 350 in there I would take it um, this is another Chevy it's probably a 2016 maybe 2017 uh, this is an SUV obviously it's either gonna be a Jeep or it's either a Chevy it looks like a Land Rover but I wouldn't be too sure uh, Ford F-150 distinctive t characteristics are this are the tailpipes right here and also by the front end you can tell that that's it obviously Dodge this is a uh, Dodge Ram I'm guessing a 2006 uh, short body like standard cab with a short box Range Rover on jack kits then you got the TJ Jeep which is awesome um, then you got another Range Rover type dealio. Um, of course, the Hummer H1. Now this Hummer is different from civilian Hummers because this Hummer is only designed for military use and it is a gas guzzler. You can tell that it's a troop carrier just by looking in the back window. You can see the seats where the, the troops would be sitting. Then you can also tell if you look at the interior that they're just four bucket seats and a sheet of metal going down the middle. But Getting past that, we are going to go to, we are going to definitely upgrade the legendary one. So let's go to the Jeep, the legendary TJ Jeep, right here. We're going to buy this and we're going to upgrade it. So it just takes a second. So you got your dealership, you got your customizing. So I'm going to go into my customizations. So, I'm going to put on the body. Okay, front bumper. Do I want a bumper? Not that as ugly. That's perfect. Rear repair pack, which would be back here. And, of course, I want that. Front bumper, rear bumper. I'm going to go with the, this. Cage, obviously, you're going to need one. Fenders, those are good. Running boards, of course. Roof lights, no police bar. Because who the hell wants the popo? Um, obviously, you want to snorkel your horns. You you got some of your basics, but I don't really use those. Tires definitely don't need to be there. Um, exhaust pipe. Obviously, you can have them going out through the roof. One pipe. I was going to say just go two. Windshield protection, which is basically a fence. Uh, protection plates, of course. So you can go without or with. You can change the colors, which I am going to go down and I'm going to basically make these red because I am obviously going to uh, going to be um, painting the vehicle. So give me a second and I'll show you a tutorial, but this is it takes a minute to do. So just bear with me. You'll understand when I get done this that what this thing is going to look like. It's actually a pretty sick vehicle. So there's that. Um, rims, obviously I'm gonna do those ones. I'm gonna do those in black. Same with the spoke colors. So that's done. The rear ones I'm gonna do the same. Black on black. Which I don't know why the front ones did not go in. Um, Uh, da -da, there you go. Now that's done. We're done the rims. We're gonna go into the tires. Those are ugly. Uh, chain tires. Oh, those are good tires. Yes, I'll take them. One, two, three, four, five. Go back on that. Uh, what kind of? Well, you do have wraps, but I'm not really gonna use them. <clears throat> not really worth it. Now we only have one more thing to do, basically. 
before I get doing this. We gotta tune up the motor and stuff. So we're gonna install all your stuff basically. So you want Stacks at Pro. I own that already. I'm gonna own all these are owned. Because I already went in, I'm gonna do these. So it's all owned as you can see. So I like these ones, of course. Um, we're going to put the tuning suspension. We're going to upgrade it the fullest. We're going to do the same thing with the rear, but you have to go out because if not, the game will crash. If you look up in the top right or top right corner, you'll see my money and you'll understand how, uh, how long I've been playing this. So uh, basically this is a test rig. So if you want to, I'm going to put it on three. I'm going to hit the speed and I'm going to show you. So this is how the rig is going to operate going down hills and over bumps and stuff like that. So that's that looks decent for me. I'm going to take it as it is and use it as it is. There is no more options along the bottom channel, which is nice. I'm going to put my thing there and we're going to go and see all this. Your graphics are on high, your music's off, your sounds. I'm going to turn that off because, well, not unless you want me to. I'm going to do touch for controls, and that's about it. We're going to go into single player, and I obviously don't want to open anything else up. I just use this as a basic, just a fun little game to play, basically. But that is really loud. So we got to get that. I don't want no sounds because it's gonna suck okay so let's turn down the sounds because I don't want anything so here we go again but I don't want no sounds but now you know what the truck sounds like so let's do this over again okay so you basically have your vehicle, you have your brake and your gas, and your turning is your tilt. So you have the lights, which are there, if you really wanted them. Uh, front wheel drive, all wheel drive, rear diff lock, front deer lock. No, I don't want none of that. I want to put this in low gear for first offs. Um, okay, so the vehicle is sitting pretty nice. I like it. So when you drive, it basically teaches you how to be an off-roader. Now, this vehicle is obviously an off-roader's dream, but you honestly have to understand how hard it would be. I'm gonna switch this into high gear because really, in all reality, this thing is designed for off-road use, not no, like, I, I kind of consider this like that one game that a couple of YouTubers play. Um, Basically, it mimics what you basically have to do to get the game going. Now, this game is pretty intense if you think about it. The game in itself and in its entirety is a pretty upbeat type game. But with that being said, when you get this thing going, you can really find some pretty cool things up in this map. So with these tires and this being the way it is, you once you <clears throat> once you damage the vehicle in a certain aspect or ratio, you end up with something that will start smoking. If I can damage this vehicle enough, I can show you what I mean. I'm going to go into water because I have a snorkel. So yeah, and then this is definitely not a mutter's dream. As you can see, it gets stuck right away. So we're gonna try and get the heck out of this. Okay, we're gonna turn around, turn around, because obviously you won't get out of that too quickly. So we're gonna get out of this because this is really just a boggers type truck. We're gonna slam that into low gear to get it out quicker and then back into high for climbing. Um, the camera is up and acting. So I'm gonna, there's first person, there's that, and then I'm gonna put it into follow mode, 
and we're gonna reverse and we're gonna slam the gas and go up and over this. So basically this is like a the woodland forest map. I'm gonna turn the lights on because who knows what the hell you're gonna come across. So basically these the controls of this game are are pretty advanced because if you think about it, right, if I stop on my brakes, right, you can see that the brakes the brake lights work the and everything like when you tilt the turn signals work yeah the the game is pretty cool like the maps are huge as you can see here so like everything works like a normal vehicle would if you were to be off-roading but i don't really think you'd be using your turn signals if you were off-roading like what the hell do they expect you to come up to in the middle of the forest a stoplight like are you kidding me like you're gonna come up to a stoplight in the middle of the forest. Like, oh, some dumb jackass uh, got drunk at work doing construction one day and uh, decided to take a break and install a stoplight in the middle of the forest where there's no traffic. But getting out of being stupid and being funny about it, but yeah, it, it's a fun game if you really think about it, right? You gotta think, right? Why the hell do you need turn signals out here? in the forest riddle me this one why if you could tell me that i would understand but i really have never been able and this thing doesn't have any power as you can see so i'm gonna have to wing this one and go slowly up here i have this in all-wheel drive because you are kind of off-roading this thing has no traction whatsoever which is okay so we built the jeep but I'm basically just showing you the fundamentals of this game. It's, it's an amazing game to play if you understand how to control the vehicles and build the vehicles to the way you want them. Why the heck did my turn signal just turn on? I have no idea. But yeah, it, it's decent to watch and decent to play. But the only problem is, is when you get to pieces and places like this. Like places where the map ends, and when the map ends, you end up hitting a wall, like Minecraft. And then you're stuck, see? As soon as that happens, you get stuck. So, yeah, sucks. So, I'm going to go back home, and I'm going to show you one of my other rigs that I have made. And then I'm going to kill it at this, so... Never. Okay. So, um, there's my Hummer. There's my other rig. So, and then I have over there a couple of my other ones. So, that's my mudding truck and my other truck. So, I'm going to play with this one for a minute. I know I have, uh, I haven't unlocked everything in this one yet. But I did, this truck is basically uh, a massive, massive truck. So the rig is sitting on 27s, front and back winch, widened types, and repair kit and all that in the back. You got the winch, you got everything you would need. So you have first person, and then you have follow camera. Now this truck is a very, very throaty type truck. This truck will not get stuck for the life of me. Um, again, if I'm gonna show you something, uh, you can change the lights in the front. I think this is the truck I changed them in. Yes, it is. So I put the green LED lights in the front with comb over front and back shocks. Um, I do have it sitting with blue mounted wheel bearings and struts and stuff like that so that the the truck looks and sits the way i want it to and it also gives it a better type suspension when you're going over sand like this as you can see the truck doesn't want to flip like the jeep did the the truck wants to stay upright which i like so it uh it's decent to play you know like you don't have to worry about it you don't have to wait it just moves and moves and moves 
and it may get slower at times, but in all reality, it's a very, very good truck to have. Um, but yeah, that's going to conclude my episode. If you guys want me to do another game type video, I can. I have another game I was going to show you guys, so I will be doing a video on that. I am going to be taking a route, but I'm obviously going to say one thing and one thing only. Shout out to Night Owl Joker. Shout out to Donald YT. Shout out to Sandman Lion 7. Shout, uh, shout out to Batney 24. Um, shout out to all you guys. I hope and I pray that you guys uh, make it somewhere. Uh, hashtag focus, hashtag night owl squad, hashtag taco squad. For any of you that don't know, I am a guy that is always willing to help. So if you need something, don't don't hesitate to ask. Um, another thing, any hate that's shot in the comments is going to be immediately fixed, banned, or and or you're going to be terminated from my channel permanently. I am have very strict rules about that. So just to let you know, that is what's going to happen if you um, decide to go off the banter. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're new and you are someone that's starting out, don't, don't hesitate to ask. I could probably help you out with stuff. And also I am there to watch you over. Ask the Night Owl Joker if you really want to know. But yeah, my name's Mr. Taco and I'm out.